Number 11, Marilyn Collection. According to legend, in 2006, a London basement underneath a former orphanage was found to contain thousands of skeletons and other macabre items that became famously known as the Marilyn Collection. The story claims that the bizarre objects once belonged to an eccentric man named Thomas Theodore Marilyn, who, according to the official Marilyn Cryptid Museum website, was a crypto-naturalist, fringe zoologist, and xeno-archaeologist. The site goes on to claim that the collection's alleged 19th century specimens are not a fairy tale, but that Marilyn was a true scientist whose mysterious objects challenge our understanding of biology, chemistry, and the very laws of physics, followed by the outrageous assertion that empirical evidence and rational thought hold sway here. But according to Demilked, the plain and simple truth is that the Maryland Cryptid Museum's so-called artifacts are the product of a fantastical story dreamed up by a London-based illustrator, writer, and sculptor known as Alex C.F. Furthermore, a Snopes.com investigation found no records of an individual by Marilyn's name actually ever existing, indicating that the man was a fictional character conjured up in Alex C.F.'s mind. Number 10. Lost Grandfather A family known as the Carrolls spent months digging for their long-lost grandfather's body before finding it buried 8 feet or 2.4 meters underground in their Long Island, New York basement in 2018, over half a century after the man, named George, had vanished. Even more strangely, they uncovered the family's patriarch's remains the day before Halloween making some newsreaders initially wonder if the discovery was part of a spooky, or perhaps sinister, holiday gag. But the police assured the public that the gruesome find was entirely real. While all the family members could do at the time was speculate, they firmly believed that the remains belonged to the long-missing grandfather, who had disappeared in 1961. According to the police, the family was always aware of the man's disappearance and had long suspected he might be buried in the basement. On a hunch one day, the grandsons, Michael Jr. and Christopher, began digging. And after an exhaustive search, they found what they were looking for. A DNA test eventually proved the family's suspicions correct. The remains belonged to George Carroll, a Korean War veteran whose three children were simply told one day that their dad had gone outside to do something, only to never return home. George's kids were left in a tough position, lacking closure over what happened to their dad and left with nothing but rumors to go on. While it may never be known why they suspected that George's remains were buried in the basement, they were clearly on a mission to dispel gossip that he had returned to Korea or gone elsewhere. Oddly, nobody ever reported George missing all those years ago, and police were unable to definitively determine what led to his death and disappearance, leaving the long-standing mystery only partially solved. Number 9. Secret Tunnels In early 2019, construction work was halted on a secondary school in County Meath, Ireland, after workers discovered previously unknown tunnels while preparing foundations for prefabricated classrooms. Local Senator Ray Butler obtained images of what authorities believe are the remnants of the Trim Jail, which was demolished during the 1950s. The jail was built in 1834 to replace the previous detention facility that occupied the site, and was thereafter converted into an industrial school, where some schoolboys murdered an assistant teacher named John Kelly in 1912. There were underground cells in the Goyle jail when it was demolished, it was just blown up, so it makes sense that they are intact, local historian and county councillor Noel French explained. Michael Hughes, chairperson of Trim Tourism Network and vice chairperson of Boyne Valley Tourism, hailed the discovery as significant in terms of local tourism. I think we should pull back and take a look at what's down there, Hughes told the Meath Chronicle, adding, I think it would be a terrible shame to cover over what's there and to fill it all in. There's a great opportunity to explore and see what's down there. Following the discovery, the site was sealed off pending further investigation by a structural engineer, according to a Department of Education representative, who spoke with RTE News. Meanwhile, site planners began looking for an alternative location for the school. Have you ever discovered a secret tunnel while exploring? Tell me about it. What do you think it was for? Who made it? Let me know in the comments below. 
then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already. There are tons of great videos just like this one coming out very, very soon. Number 8. Missing Persons while executing a search warrant in Columbus, Ohio earlier this year, authorities discovered two partially dismembered human corpses buried in concrete in the home's basement. They tentatively identified the bodies as possibly belonging to two missing persons, Henry Clay Watson, aged 49, and Tara Lynn Pennington, aged 46, both who lived nearby when they were reported missing in 2018. Unfortunately, it was too late to save the individuals who succumbed to a gruesome fate at the address, whoever they may be. Autopsy results regarding their identities are pending, but this wasn't the first time law enforcement learned of missing persons being kept in someone's basement. One fateful afternoon in October 1987, a young Philadelphia woman named Josefina Riviera frantically contacted police, letting them know that her and five other women were being held captive in a man's basement. Riviera had spent considerable time gaining their captor, Gary Heidnick's trust, eventually convincing him to let her visit her family. Instead, she rushed to the authorities. By then, Heidnick had murdered two of his prisoners while continuing to systematically assault the others daily. He committed unspeakable acts against his captives, including damaging their hearing with a screwdriver and forcing them to languish, huddled together in a tiny, wasty pit in his basement. While the deaths of the two Heidnick captives are certainly tragic, thankfully, police rescued four women alive. Some of the survivors dispute Riviera's culpability in the incident, claiming she was an accomplice more than an advocate. To this day, she adamantly claims that she only helped torture the other women in a long, drawn-out attempt to get herself and them to safety. Regardless, Heidnick received the death penalty for his crimes and was executed in 1999. Number 7. Alligator When police in Madison Township, Ohio, received a strange tip in March of last year directing them to a local resident's basement, they may not have been expecting to find a fully grown, five foot long, that's one and a half meters, American alligator. But that's exactly what they encountered, leading Commander Daryl Brenneman to tell CNN, I've never seen anything like that in my 17 years in the department. Police explained that the woman had kept the gator in her basement for 25 years, after her son purchased the reptile at a flea market. Alligators, hyenas, tigers, bears, lions, and some other animals are banned from ownership under Ohio Senate Bill 310. The homeowner put up no fight when it came to surrendering the creature, and the Ohio Department of Agriculture came and removed it. Shelby Croft, a spokeswoman from the agency, told CNN that the animal was in good health and didn't require any special care. Officials transported the alligator to a sanctuary in South Carolina, where he is peacefully living out his remaining years. Number 6. An Explosive Weapon it's not entirely unusual for World War II era explosives and other weapons to turn up in Europe, the United States, and in some other places. Yet, these discoveries are always surprising to some degree, especially on the rare occasion that they happen within one's home. Recently, Dr. Ralph Haynes, a Durham, North Carolina homeowner, found a mortar in his newly renovated basement, prompting authorities to close down multiple streets in the area. The resident told ABC 11 that he had been renovating his home for about a month when he discovered the mortar in a crawl space. After noticing that the firing pin was intact, Haynes carefully moved the weapon to a separate garage and contacted the Durham County Bomb Squad. For the next two hours, the squad handled the explosive while residents in the area eagerly waited to go home. Earlier this year, another Raleigh-Durham resident found a similar mortar in the ground making Haynes' discovery the second of its type in the area so far this year. Number 5. Skeletal Remains In late 2020, somebody discovered skeletal human remains in a basement inside an Avondale, Ohio home. Authorities responded to a call regarding a very old corpse, according to Fox 19 and began working diligently to identify the deceased individual, who was unrecognizable and had no ID near them. Along with the bones, investigators found a cell phone and the person's clothing, and considered both items crucial in their quest to figure out who they were. Initially, the local coroner claimed that these items were over a decade old, 
but the phone's serial number led detectives to someone who had given the device to a woman named Neva Johnson, who last posted on social media in 2015. From there, authorities tracked down Johnson's relatives, including her son and daughter, who described their mother as semi-nomadic, with a tendency to disappear once in a while. Although police positively identify Johnson, they have not yet completely solved the mysteries surrounding her death. For now, at least, her family has been able to properly lay her to rest as they await further answers. Number four, pythons. Police in Bikris, Ohio, were called to residences to deal with ball pythons, not once, but at least twice in 2020. In October last year, police removed a four to five foot long, 1.2 to one and a half meter specimen from someone's home. Unlike some other cases of creepy reptiles being found underneath residents' homes, including some on today's list, these instances did not result from people keeping pets that they shouldn't have. In the most recent case, the homeowner said they had no idea how the ball python had entered their dwelling and that the animal was not their pet, according to Bikers Police Department Lieutenant Tom Walker, who spoke with the Telegraph Forum. It had coiled up on the water heater. I believe it was trying to get warm. It was very docile, Walker explained, adding that the resident discovered the creature upon entering their basement. This was the police department's first instance dealing with a ball python in somebody's basement. Although, months earlier, they had removed one from another home. The incidents prompted law enforcement to urge locals to take proper care of their pets. Number three, a vanished man. Last year, a 38-year-old Detroit resident named Cam Franks disappeared from Faithful Helping Hands Community Services, a community outreach building he was supposedly last seen leaving on March 14. Police reported the man missing a few weeks later, noting that he was physically fine but in poor mental health at the time. A five-month search ensued until, finally, somebody found Mr. Franks' remains in the facility's basement leading to more questions than answers regarding his disappearance. Police were unsure why nobody had searched the basement for the missing man, but announced that he had appeared to have died of natural causes. Frank's understandably distraught sister, Kai, criticized police, stating that Faithful Helping Hands should have been the first place they searched for her brother, a known wanderer who lost his way and met a tragic end in ironically familiar territory. All you had to do was be in his company, Kai told Fox News shortly after Cam's body was discovered, adding, he could feed and wash himself. He was physically active. You just had to watch him. A sad story indeed. Number two, a 30-year-old murder case. Last year, French workers discovered a decades-old corpse in the basement of a derelict mansion in Paris while performing renovations. They contacted authorities about the gruesome find, sparking a wildly outdated murder investigation. The mansion, which had recently sold for $41.2 million, was abandoned in the 1980s, according to The Guardian. Renovations were abruptly halted so that detectives could carry out their investigation, acting on the suspicion that the body had been decomposing at the property for at least 30 years. Once the residence of poet and playwright Francois Copy, the once elegant structure and its environs were deteriorating and overgrown by the time the corpse was discovered. Months earlier, the property had sold to a buyer named Jean Bernard Lafonta at a short lived auction by a discreet Dutch company. He paid nearly six times the baseline asking price, only to have work on the home come to a screeching halt following the shocking discovery of the body. Everyone was devastated to learn it had been there so long without any of us knowing. Sabine Le Breton, vice president of a local association dedicated to saving the mansion, told The Guardian. Authorities identified the deceased individual as Jean-Pierre Renaud and determined he had, indeed, died about 30 years earlier. Renaud was a known vagrant with a drinking problem, who police suspect met his untimely fate when he ventured into the property's basement and crossed paths with another territorial drifter. The man's children were informed of his death and, well, that was pretty much that. The man's children were informed of his death and his remains were buried. Plans to renovate the mansion were scheduled to resume shortly thereafter. Number one, a fugitive. 
After being arrested on felony drug charges in October of last year in Antrim County, Michigan, 35-year-old Jennifer Andrea Robtoy managed to escape the police vehicle transporting her to her next destination, which was presumably jail. The regional fugitive team was deployed to apprehend the woman, and their investigation led them to a residence where they believed she was hiding out. They found her in the basement, hiding beneath tarps covering an old snowmobile, and took her into custody without incident. Surprisingly, the officers placed Rob Toy in the front seat of the police vehicle per the department's policy, despite her previous escape from the same seating arrangement. Apparently, the Michigan State's police's fully marked patrol cars lack backseat cages, giving the arresting officer no other choice. Thankfully, Rob Toy did not escape the second time around. She was taken to the county jail on her original felony drug charges, as well as charges related to her escape, including resisting and obstructing police and reckless driving. Lesson to be learned here, don't run from the police and hide in someone's basement. Face the music. As unpleasant as it may seem, it's a lot easier than going down on additional charges. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about scary basement discoveries, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. See you next time.